Shalom, and welcome to our show, The Crossover, a show aimed at bridging gaps between Jews and Christians. Today we have a special guest on our show, Dr. Maurice Scalar. He is a concert violinist and he is a minister. He was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, to a Russian Jewish family with a rich musical heritage. He was accepted at the Juilliard School of Music in New York City, where he also studied with the great violin teacher, Ivan Galamian. He was awarded an honorary doctorate of ministry d degree for his pioneering work in reintroducing classical music to the church body as powerful praise and worship to the Father, and for his revival ministry in the Holy Spirit as a prophet, teacher, and psalmist. He appeared as a soloist in many orchestras all over the country, the Houston Symphony, the New Orleans Philharmonic, the Memphis Symphony, too many for us to mention. And he has performed in concerts across the country in more than 40 states and abroad. Maurice Galar is more than just a musician. He's a modern day psalmist. Here he is with Mitch and enjoy. For nearly 2,000 years, Jews and Christians have been divided. But now, God is calling for the healing of past hurts and the comforting of His people. Discover how God is prophetically uniting Jews and Christians across the world today on The Crossover. And now, here is your host, Mitch Jerome. Elise, welcome back to The Crossover. We want to start this show off with, uh, it was interesting reading a lot of the press release on you, Maurice Clark, and uh, to juxtapose the secular press and then the Christian commentaries. And the New York Times says that your music is solid, sensitive, idiomatic. The Washington Post says throbbing passion, <laughs> a throbbing passion, <laughs> and dazzling finger work. Oh, Sounds like the secular press. Uh -huh. Now the Christian community, here's what they say when they hear Maurice Sklar's music. A classical recital. Kenneth Copeland says, your music, his music brought us into God's glory and we experienced a fresh outpouring of the spirit. Richard Roberts, president of uh, Oral Roberts University in Tulsa. The music of Maurice Sklar is greatly anointed of the Lord, inspiring fresh awareness of God's presence and his healing power through praise. So Maurice, how do you define your music, and what, what is it that comes through your violin? Well, I, I've trained my whole life uh, to be a classical soloist, a concert artist, and I still am. I do a, still do a lot of practicing, and I play concerts. But about 11 years ago, I began to pioneer um, uh, into the, the church realm, particularly the classical, I mean, particularly the the charismatic realm, um, different hymns and songs, Jewish and Christian, uh, that th and incorporated the classical music language with them. So I, I kind of pioneered that and I've done a lot since that time um, in different countries and where I've really introduced violin music to a whole new audience uh, in, in a lot of the songs that they're familiar with. And uh, it's been very... Uh, very satisfying. Interesting. So you're me. intertwining that. Let's, let's come back to that in a second. Uh, because your music is so healing. I know my wife had an experience with that. And I know many others because I've heard you many times. Versus the music that we the kids are listening to today. I mean, we come out of the rock and roll era and the drug crazed era. Mm -hmm. And now you've got this heavy metal group. And, and, and it's lyrics of death, destruction, suicide. And these are what the younger generation is being destroyed by music. And biblically speaking, we know, too, that Satan was the praise and worship leader in heaven mm -hmm. and was thrown to earth in the, during the, the revolt. And then comes Maurice and others like you that God's given an anointing and a, a healing spirit through your music. And, and I know, Maurice, you have a, an album, I think, I guess we don't have it right here. It was El Shaddai, mm -hmm. where it was one of your first albums, your first album. And it was combining that classical with the praise, right. working with the uh, orchestra there, uh, the London Orchestra. And uh, I guess is. Is this the answer to the heavy metal, to the rock and roll, and to the just total debauchery of where music has gone? I think that um, when, when people's hearts, musicians' hearts, and worshipers turn to the Lord, uh, God can redeem any style of music. However, I also think that 
a lot of what I call the pop rock language, uh, which has come in the last 50 years or so, it's limited in, in what, it can, what it can express. Um, the, the older language, which is you know, really what we call the high art or the fine arts, or what came out of Europe as the fruit of the Reformation, really, uh, is, a, is a much richer and deeper, uh, more expressive, has much more, uh, if you were a painter, if you were painting with colors, it's like if you had the difference between five primary colors and 300 colors. Mm -hmm. And so it has much more depth to it. And I believe that, uh, uh, you know, uh, there is a place for, for, everything and, and you know the folk music uh, even you know pop music some of the rock music I think is uh, infused it with demonic uh, elements that that are, are uh, uh, destructive and I, I am against that but I, I've seen enough to where even my my uh, uh, what I prefer as a uh, as music uh, I've seen enough to see God use almost every different style. Uh, but I believe that very little will go on of our culture into eternity because we've decayed. We've, we've experienced such a cultural decay in really in the last 50 to 100 years and, and particularly in America which has stressed sports and more of the Greek and Roman model, you know, the body rather than the arts and music which was more of the Reformation model which Martin Luther brought. So. I'm artist in residence at Oral Roberts University, and, and I, I have a real vision for the restoration of arts and music uh, under God, and to bring these great works of music and offer them up as worship under the anointing, you know, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and give them back to God. In a sense, going and taking what was birthed out of the, out of the, uh, the body of Messiah, and through history, and bringing them back, like bringing the gold, offering the gold mm -hmm. in the temple, you know, offering what, it. yeah, rest restoration. So I, I definitely have a vision for that. Kenneth Copeland uh, quoted you, qu called you a psalmist, and I thought about that, and I said, gee, David came with his harp to King Saul, mm -hmm. and with, through the music that came through David's harp, uh, Saul was restored and refreshed, and it was a healing that went on, and that's how Kenneth Copeland seems to and appropriately so, I think, put you yes. in that same category. Is there anywhere in the Testament, old or new, where it, it speaks that music does heal body, mind, spirit? Well, sure. Um, you know, when, like you said, when when uh, Saul, uh, when David came before Saul, uh, the 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 evil spirit left him. Um, there is uh, there's music is very powerful, and as you mentioned about Satan or Lucifer, as some call him, before he fell, um, he was he was the musician. And it's interesting in heaven. You know, he led the praise and worship in heaven with the angels. And so, uh, there's no one that understands the power of music more than than the dark side, if you will. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, I believe that I believe that um, there is tremendous uh, power, and in, in in this, and the Bible does talk about it more. In really, the greatest psalmist in the Bible, was, it was David, and uh, we see more of music. Uh, with David because he was such a worshiper and we see it in the book of Psalms particularly which which is a very Jewish thing a very Hebrew thing in, in fact all almost all not all but a vast majority of the great classical musicians are Jewish and uh, it's very it's fascinating particularly on the violin which um, I was in Israel and, and they were they told me that uh, that the violin is is the, the, the Hebrew word kinor which is uh, the the lake of Gennesaret, we call it, or mm -hmm. Kinneret. Or, right. It means the harp lake. It's shaped right. like a Davidic mm -hmm. instrument. And, and so the violin is kind of recognized as a Davidic instrument mm -hmm. among the Jewish people. Kind of revered there. Yeah. Maurice, let me ask you this. You have witnessed many healings, and all healings, I would say, are miraculous. But you've been on the stage with uh, Benny Hinn. You travel with him, um, and they pack out coliseums all over. You have been on with uh, Schombach, you've been on with Oral Roberts, all these are very big healing ministries, and, um, and you play your music there. Any event in particular that you share with our viewers that really stood out for you? Uh, oh, I, there's been so many wonderful, and even in my meetings, I've seen tremendous 
uh, miracles. Even on the set today, we saw uh, the, the cameraman you know, lady, camera lady was healed. And, um, you know, so there, you know, it, the, the New Testament talks about this as a normal occurrence, that the supernatural mm -hmm. should be a part of our faith. And it's also in, in the Jewish uh, faith, too. Uh, you know, we see it with Elijah and, and Elisha and, and uh, others. But uh, um, I really believe that one of the greatest things I've seen was um, a little girl that was raised from the dead. Uh, actually, she had drowned in the back of a lake, and it was an 18-month-old girl. She was just floating, you know, and uh, she was, so, it was in Colorado, and she was so far from a, a fr they were so far out in the, up in the mountains that, that they had to helicopter, she had, they had to drive to a place to get a helicopter to get into, I think it was Denver or whatever. And I remember that testimony, um, how she just, she was totally dead, no, no, blue, you know, no, just no sign of life. And, and, and uh, you know, an hour later on the way, or half hour later on the way to uh, uh, the hospital in the helicopter, she suddenly comes back to life. And that's impossible. Uh, that wow. there would be any brain activity or anything. I mean, this this little girl was totally uh, raised from the dead, and uh, this was through the faith of her parents and her mother, mm -hmm. who was quoting scriptures and things like this. And, and this and happens seen, every day on TV. We see you and Benny Hinn in the ministries, well, and like like you're saying, well, I haven't maybe seen not that. The dead, I haven't seen that. But the I'm healings of, of great magnitude. People I, walking. Like we see wheelchairs left seen, at the stage, yes, etc. Absolutely, I've seen every healing miracle. Uh, that's in the New Testament with my own eyes. And God even did one on Maurice Clark, didn't He? Yes, He healed depression me of and depression and suicide, and and um, He's uh, uh, He's touched you directly right there. He, oh yeah, very much. And and I see a constant flow of this, uh, and that is supposed to be a part of the normal uh, uh, believer's life, that we are to mm -hmm. see a flow of healing because Jesus said, as uh, the same works I do shall you do greater works than these because we go in his name and there's all power in the name of Yeshua, the name of Amen. Jesus. You know, Maurice, right now one of the biggest selling medicines is for depression. That means there's a lot of people out there battling this. Mm -hmm. You've had victory in it. Anything you want to share with our viewers that are, or families that are going through this? Well, that, sure. Uh, well, I can say that I'm, I'm still, uh, I still have um, uh, areas of my life that because of, of how I was raised and how I grew up, the pressure that I lived under, that I've had a, a tremendous, uh, tremendous uh, areas where I had to depend on God, you know. So I, I understand that. And I think sometimes we go through things so that we can have compassion on others that are going through the same things. And I really, um, I just believe that, you know, uh, I wrote a book of my life's story called He Restoreth My Soul. And there's restoration for you. You know, there is healing for the soul. There, uh, if, you've, if, if you've been damaged or hurt or broken, if your heart's been broken, if you've, if you've experienced uh, uh, terrible uh, suffering in the soul, in the, in, the, in, in the mind, the will, the emotions, if you've, if you've had that and, and, you know, someone comes and says, oh, I know what you're going through, you know, don't say that because you don't know. You don't know the kind of pain. It's worse than it's worse than physical pain, mm -hmm. I believe. And well, the Lord has healing for you. It, the, the Bible says uh, that the Messiah, the Lord Jesus, He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our shalom, our peace, was upon Him. By His stripes we are healed. We were healed. And and uh, the Word of God, the Word of God contains the balm That's your of healing. It is medicine mm -hmm. to, your, to, to your soul and to the body. Amen. Maurice, in the few minutes we have, the last minute here, uh, I'm going to hold this Song of Zion. This is your second uh, CD that you've with come out with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With Music. integrity. Mm -hmm. And you also recorded this with the London National Philharmonic Orchestra. And But what's interesting is this particular CD was you dedicated to the nation of Israel and to the Jewish people. Yes. And what's behind that? Well, I'm Jewish, <laughs> and um, I have a great heart for Israel. And anybody that believes the Bible, and anybody that reads the Bible, is is immediately uh, thrust into the, the the plan of God for the nation of Israel. And these are exciting days. God, God has restored 
the nation of Israel. And this is a, uh, these are songs that, that feature, um, you know, some of the, like Jerusalem of gold and some of the, 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 the Jewish and Yiddish songs, but also has, has a few of the, uh, uh, like Old Testament spirituals, you know, uh, Joshua fit the battle of Jericho and, you know, these kind of things and go down Moses and, you know, it's got, it's got a, a selection like of some of these. It. Yeah, I did. I did. It was fun. Well, Maurice, we're going to cut away and let our viewers actually listen to your music and be blessed by the anointing that comes through some of the songs that he mentioned here. And uh, we just want to thank you again for being on the um, crossover and sharing with us. It's and a pleasure. I'm glad I can be here. We hope you'll come again. And, and we just want you to close your eyes, sit back, viewers, and you're going to hear what I call perfect music. And enjoy. like to do for you a, a worship song to him who sits on the throne be all glory and honor and power everything majesty forever hallelujah it's such a wonderful thing to worship the Lord you know there's someone in here that's uh, been suffering 
with a, a, just a terrible uh, sinus condition that causes headaches and, and, and God is touching you right now and causing just congestion and problems in the inner ear, infections. The Lord is touching you right now. If you have that situation, you have a problem with allergies, just during this next song or whatever, if you have an illness, you know, Yeshua is the healer. He is the healer. He's the healer of broken hearts. He's the healer of sick bodies. He's the healer of whatever, whatever has troubled you. Hallelujah. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Thank God. Thank God for healing in his name. that you had a wonderful taste of some wonderful praising and anointed music today. Thank you for staying with us for the show. Shalom.
Join Mitch and Rosalie as they reach an ever-growing worldwide audience through the crossover. We invite you to become a crossover partner right now by calling the number on your screen. For your monthly gift of $30 or more, you will receive the Crossover Partnership Pack, which includes a DVD of today's program, a personal greeting and prayer message from Mitch and Rosalie, more information about the Crossover Project. As you continue to support the Crossover each month, you will receive a new Crossover DVD, a monthly ministry report, and your name will be added to the healing room. Call now or log on to our website and join the growing family of Crossover Partners. And be sure to join us again next week as Mitch and Rosalie tackle timely topics and welcome dynamic guests on The Crossover. Lord God of Abraham.